alive. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me today, for your patience. The technical aspects of streaming online are always new and exciting, and I am consistently learning a lot about kind of everything. So um, a little bit about where this class comes from today. Today, we focus on play. And so the play aspect of our lives is crucial, right? I am writing an Oracle deck with Meg and Amanda, and we are focusing on, um, we're focusing on what we do here in this life uh, and the large concepts that can be our toolbox. Yeah. So let's see, does that help the echo at all? Yeah, Meg, play. So as we were looking at play, um, Amanda brought up that wolves play all the time in their packs because it helps them to understand where their, oh great, well the music spontaneously started, where their place in the pack is. It allows them to get stronger. Uh, to work out and train, and it allows for them to figure out the different power dynamics within in a healthy way where people aren't asserting. You just understand where you fit in to the tribe and to the group a lot better than if you're uh, kind of sitting around just talking because you're able to do it in this levity, in this light way that incites joy and fun. So we're going to look at some of that today as we dance. So, oh man, hi Tim, hi Maria and Valentina, who are all tuning in on Facebook, and we have Meg and Chirp and Bird and Sarah here uh, tuning in. So please say, hey, I love dancing with you. This class is for you, and it's also for me. This is a direct representation of my personal processing and how in this life, dance, has been an important vehicle for my body to understand how to move through the concepts that are in my thinking brain. I love reading and thinking and musing and picking concepts apart and putting them back together. And dance is a crucial way for me to process all of that and be able to put it all together into something that symbols a life worth living with joy and pleasure. So also, I taught a private lesson to my friend this week, and in it, she realized that she's not really connected to her body at all, um, which was interesting to me because I always am thinking about what my body feels like almost in every single moment. And so this disconnect between mind and body is um, usually the direct correlation of trauma and also can be because you haven't put them together yet or haven't been taught to or encouraged to through play. So that's what we're going to do a little bit today. We're going to think about connecting our mind and body in a fun, nice class full of levity, right? The world has so much going on in it right now. I'm personally doing a lot of anti-racist work, um, looking at white privilege and uh, white supremacy and unpacking these really large broken systems that are designed to keep us all down. Okay, and so we are all participants in it in some way, and the way that we can start to debunk them is by learning about them. And personally, this gets to be a lot in my brain. I just, I, I can't think of it. I feel guilt and shame and worthless and down and crying. And these are all important things to feel. But if we get stuck in, in, in that place of feeling, we start to get disconnected. And so moving your body through without caring what it looks like is a practice that I almost always turn to. And so I invite this playfulness today to get us out of our heads and into our bodies so we may continue to do the important work in our lives of transforming ourselves through self-love. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let us do. Ooh, and hey, Amanda. Hi, Sunny. I know you're recovering. Please do whatever you can. And that's 
a great point. If your body doesn't want to do all the things my body is doing today, make it up on your own. Take my prompts and just see how you can move your body in this hour that will allow for you to nourish yourself. So if your shoulder's injured, right, focus on stuff on the other side, or maybe your neck, or maybe dance with your face or just your fingers, or maybe concentrate on your ankles and feet, right? Kind of listen to the body to stay connected so we can find integration in all the different ways. Oh my gosh, Heidi's watching. Hi, Heidi and Amy. Oh, it's like dancing with my friends and my cat. So let's get started. Start by taking a deep breath in and inviting play. What does that mean to you? Oftentimes, we are discouraged from playing because it is a childish thing to do. However, play should never be obstructed from us, no matter what age we are. Press your feet into the floor and then allow your arms to circle up and down. And think about this as a curious, sensation. Can you feel the blood changing, changing course as you move? Can you feel the air whooshing through your hands as if you are playing in the air around you? This class is going to probably ask you to get out of your comfort zone and into this space of non-judgment to get out of your ego and to try something new. Take your hands behind, and it's gonna ask you to get curious into places you never have been before, perhaps. And if you have been the places that I'm asking you to go, go deeper, go different. This class is about you, not me. I mean, it is about me, because I'm the one teaching, and I can only speak from my experience. But your experience of this class is about you. It's not about what I think about you, or what I'm asking you to do, or if you're pleasing me, or if I think you're doing it right. I want you to take empowerment in allowing yourself to do all of this. So start to roll your torso around, uh, activating the tailbone to the top of the head. This is something I do in all of my classes, you'll notice, and it actually opens the whole spine up, okay? So rotating and circling the tailbone to open up the hips and the lower spine while rotating the shoulders in an opposite way to open up the mid spine and then letting the head go to open up the top of the spine, right? So we have the entire spine opening. Take a deep, playful breath. Inhale. <gasps> Exhale. <sighs> Shake it out. Play. Play in your body. Inhale, lift. Exhale out. <sighs> okay, take your arm out. Play doesn't also always have to look like children running around and hula hooping or playing castles and dragons or I don't know what else there's. Uh, <laughs> playing animals or reaching out and up. I don't have kids, so you, those of you who have kids can whatever, we've all seen it. Just imagine yourself playing in your own way, reaching out. This attitude, kind of like if you've taken my burlesque classes, we talk about opening into our sensuality by flipping a switch or by turning a knob up. And play can be the same way. It can be this attitude you have maybe an attitude of gratitude, which then brings you into this light and levity that whoosh, makes you feel like you're having a little more fun. Open up. Good. Now come back to this winding and see if you can move it both directions. One circle one way and let your hands play in a three-dimensional space around you. And imagine that your spine is playing within all of its glorious muscles. Taking a deep breath in, inhale, lift. Exhale, whew. start to walk your feet through the space. 
My cat jumped off the roofs the other few days. Mm, catching frogs and minnows and playing in the dirt. <laughs> yep, water balloons, searching for hidden treasures. Yeah, all of these things, right? And so activating your sense of play brings you into this sense of fun and imagination, like anything is possible. So as you walk through your space, we're warming up our ankles and our legs here. I want you to maybe play with how you can walk in a couple different ways. Get curious. I don't know if any of you have seen the Ministry of Silly Walks, right? You get to walk in all of these different hilarious ways to move yourself through space. And here we play with that. So let yourself Give yourself a permission slip. We're here now activating our sense of divine play. Opening up into the space around you. Start to make it a little bit faster. I'm going to turn the music up. Walk, dance, skip, run a little bit faster in your space. Whatever is calling to you, right? If you're not feeling the skipping, maybe lift those knees high and start to play. You can laugh. Smile, giggle, screech, scream, and make noises. This is your official permission slip to ha, just let yourself find a levity. And you don't have to be overly exuberant. The sense of play could be almost like a flirtation within yourself to the universe, adding your own sense of delicious pleasure to the world. Okay, take your legs out. Inhale. Exhale, feel your blood playing in your veins. Can you feel a little more conscious of the air around you? Roll those hips in a wide way and reverse the other way. Lower spine opening. Good, take a deep breath in, inhale, lift. Hand down, hand down, forward fold. Hold it here, inhale. Now, in this forward fold, allow for your breath to play in your torso, for your movement to sway back and forth. If you want to put your hands down or maybe your hand on a chair and play with where your weight is and play with your balance. Can you smile while you're in this forward fold? And can you open up into this sense of playing into your muscles? Deep breath in. Exhale out, rolling maybe side to side here. I'm rolling back and over to the side to open up the side channels of my right and left legs. You can see it more here. If you want to put your hands up, you're rolling your hips side and side. And let yourself find pleasure in playing. Hey, now pleasure is a word that has a lot of connotation to sexual pleasure, right, often. And so I want you to dispel that belief for a few moments. That is one way that we can look at this, but that is one way only. And so pleasure can be the feeling of delicious sunlight on your skin. It can be the feeling of your muscles opening up. Go back down one more time. Now just tilt the hips side to side, maybe lifting up that inner toe joint, okay? Pleasure can be the wind on your face or that delicious lift of spirit that happens when you are pleased. So start to tap into that now, that sense of pleasure, that sense of play, and let that lift your spirit. Inhale, take the other arm up, left one for me as we lift up, twisting. Good. Take your feet together. Bend both knees into a plie. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Play into your ankles now. What does it feel like to get curious and to think directly into your lower legs and ankles? Let your arms move in a kinetic way to get your blood moving. Plie down. Lifting up. Activating into the core. Good. And now connect your brain back down to your ankles. What's happening down there? Can you connect a brain body pathway into those ankles? Hold it here. 
Inhale, lift the left foot and balance. Find that play. Find that play. Can you maybe move your hips back and forth and make new shapes? Smiling. Whoop. Get yourself off balance. It's a play that it's not for winning. Take that left foot back. Nice wide stance. Medium wide. So we're getting into that back of the back calf. Take both arms up. Right arm comes forward. Inhale, lift taller. Square your hips off. And notice where, when you square your hips, pulling the right hip back, can you bring awareness to your body and see what changes? Switch to the other way. Get curious. Curiosity. Can I be a dragon? Can I feel this more in my leg? Good. We're going into another balance. We're going to balance up on one leg. Ooh, see how that feels for you? Like it could be as low or as high as you want it to be. Good. Shake it out. Good. Little runs in place. Playing those feet on the floor. Toes up. Now heels down. Toes up. Heels down. Good. Other way. Deep breath in. Plie down. Bend it here. And notice if all that play into your left calf opened it up more. Connect mind to body. Where do your muscles fire? Pull in and up through your core. Squeeze underneath your seat to find a little levity and sit, sink down farther. Take your arms up. Good. Lift up. Right foot this time. Hold. Hold and balance. Play a little bit here. Get yourself off balance maybe by pushing that leg far like we've been doing. And press it down into a long, medium long lunge. Take the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Take the arms down. Press into that back heel. Make sure both feet are parallel. Now, left hip comes back. Right hip comes forward. Square. Get curious. What does this feel like in your body? Can you be almost as if a car, and you have two headlights on your hip bones. Are they shining forward or are they shining out to the sides? You could take your hands there with your thumbs up and point them this way. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. Left arm goes forward, opening up, lifting up through the torso and the core. Extend your spine and reach out the other direction, switching, twisting. Inhale, exhale, take into that front foot, lift up the back foot and find your sense of play and balance. Can you activate all your muscles and maybe smile, probably smile and shake it out, little runs. Little runs, play here, shake your hands out, play with them, shake them, flop them up and down. Good, shake your hands or shake your shoulders, shake your hips, shake your knees, shake your ankles. Shake it forward, shake it back, shake it forward, shake it back, and stop. Turn your toes. Boop. Good. Inhale, lift, shake. Take it down. Boop. Lift, shake. Down, lift, shake. Down. Okay, now we press out this way. Boop. Almost as if you're touching something, as if you're going to poke a friend and share a little joke with them. Can you add whoop, this? Fun little sense of play as you're down in your plie, getting into those ankles. Reach out a little bit more so you go side to side, lifting up through the torso, out and in. And again, we go out and in. Good. Turn it in, take it up onto the toes and lift up through those ankles, lifting up through the toes, playing on the tops of the toes. Seeing how this feels on the ankles and the feet. Now play with those hands and those hips. Where do they go? I'm swaying them with every single step. And my hands go as they desire. Swaying side to side. Can you get into your own sense of play here? You can use my sense of play for a little inspiration. But it's really about you, remember? Good. Take a deep breath in. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Shake it out. Okay, so playful. Can you close your eyes? Take a moment and see if you can find that levity of spirit, that sense of play. And can you peek that what if of curiosity? Okay. 
So now we're going to do a strange balance. This one, uh, well, for me anyways, has been strange. Maybe the things that I do in this class have been strange for you. We're going to balance on one leg in a parallel position, okay? And so we're going here, okay? This is a very modern dance bit, and I invite you to bend your top leg so that way you can find a little bit more play. So we're going to lift up, and I want you to play with this side bend, lifting up and then seeing how you can play into that balance. Here, think about lifting both edges if you have balloons tied to both hands and both ankles. Whoop, how can you? Find that momentary teeter-totter. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Ready, set, balance. Whoop. Hold. Hold on. Can you hold? Play with it. Play with it. String. Strong. You can ooh, stretch out that bottom leg if you want. Good. And come back. Shake it up. Inhale, lift. Other side. Put weight into the other foot. And up. See? Whoop. Play with it. Inhale, lift. Imagine those balloons lifting. Find that levity, that curiosity of how you can create this new shape. Can you become flat like a pancake? Inhale. Exhale out. And bounce. Good. One more time. Inhale. Wait. Inhale. And we go out. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Good. Shake it out. Shake it up, shake it up. Okay, now place your hands front. I'm gonna play like we're pushing out. This is what I call a kitty cat, okay? You're gonna press with your palm and you're gonna pull in as if you're scooping in. Press and scoop, press and scoop. Forward, forward, down, down. Actually imagine that you're pressing into something. Can you maybe get those feet going? This is one of my favorite little cat moves. I am wearing leopard print today. Down, 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 faster. Can you add those hips into it? Playing into the body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Okay, get curious here. A little more curious. How can you challenge yourself? What's a new thing for you? Okay, so here, we're going to get into some of our fancy footwork that we've been playing with. And thank you, Meg, for this song. We're getting down into the real nitty gritty. Okay. So, I want your hands to go side to side. Side, side. Very 50s of us, isn't it? Side, 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 side. Good. Okay, then we're going to turn one knee in and one knee out, and then turn the other knee in and out, okay? Then we're going to maybe turn both of them in and out at the same time, and the hands go opposite. So we're twisting in our lower back. Pull your core in, and let's try taking little steps. Can your feet go in? and out and in now get curious how can you add a little flare and then come back to this pattern okay we're twisting 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 add a little flare maybe a little kick opposite hands and see how you can come right back to the pattern play with it if you get really caught up and weird about it laugh Boop. we go out out Ready? Double time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, slow. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, slow. Now just one knee. Out, out, out. Can you go low with those twisting hands? Jump, out. Ready? Jump. Again, we go one, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Out, 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 jump. Out, out, go back. Okay, now I want you to think about popping those hands down. Okay. I don't know about y'all, but I'm having a lot of fun. I don't want that song to end. Oh my gosh, right down to the real nitty gritty. So, this is your chance. This is what this play is about. Here, I made a playlist playlist, playing music, playing things, and I kind of don't know what's on it, because I made it very quickly this morning, and I like that. I put in a whole bunch of different songs that would challenge us to play, okay? So as all these different things come on, you have the choice 
to play with the rhythm and to play with how your body can act, move your emotions through, or you can be like, ugh, I don't want to do this. This is dumb. I'm over it. I'm definitely a teenager. Yeah. So how can you add that attitude of gratitude? I get the opportunity now to play. How can you find where you can open up a little bit more and get curious and think of it as a sense of play? Take a deep breath in. We're going to go into some um, hip opening simply because my hips are tight. Don't know about you. Lots of emotional work makes my hips nice and tight. We're going to open up and we're going to exhale. <sighs> Down. Inhale. Now bend your knees. <sighs> Good. Hold. Good. Hold it here. I had a hilarious dream last night where I was back at my home studio, which was a totally new built studio, the Savellis. If any of the Savellis are watching, I dream about you all the time. Um, and we were at, in class, I had come back, it was an adult class, and we were learning to tassel twirl. <laughs> but we didn't have any tassels, and so we had put tassels over our boobies, and we were just learning all of these different ways to play with them and shake them around. It was fantastic so we're gonna get into our hips a little bit and we're gonna play with our upper body in shaking it out while we're in some stretches and this means I need for you to keep nice and strong and maintain that balance of play without overexerting or hurting yourself okay so turn over take a deep breath in Exhale, we're going all the way down, nice and deep. Low lunge. Okay, if you want to put both your hands inside, you can. Okay, so here we're going to play. I want you to push forward and push back. Little tiny plays. And then I want you to shake your back heel. Shake into it. Play into what that sensation is. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press your knee down. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, press both hands to the inside. Now I'm gonna move a little bit so you can see what my back knee is doing, okay? Now I'm going to open up if that feels good for you. If you don't wanna go down this far, you can keep both hands up here, okay? I want you to open up, and here I want you to shake your head. Up, down, sideways. Maybe roll it. And release any tension in your neck. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale out, now. Wherever you are, even if you're here, I want you to shake your shoulders just a little bit. Notice how this slightly moves the body and makes you stabilize. You can lift that back knee up if you want a little bit more of a challenge. Good. Opening up the hips, getting into the shoulders. Now, find yourself in a stable place, and I want you to really slowly, maybe not a shake, but a little roll into these hips activating movement and playing with what this stretch which is static normally feels like okay even if you're just here I want you to feel where you can open up into those hips a little more now squeeze up playing with your muscles squeeze 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 and now find a way to get up and stand take a deep breath in exhale okay so right foot lifts up and over. We're going to make a figure figure four. I want you to pull that leg up. Okay, we're going to make an interesting position. Okay, and so here, you're going to bend your knee. My baggy pants don't always show it. Okay, you're going to bend your knee and you're going to sink down. Do you see how I'm making a number four with my leg? Okay, if you can, lift up and hold this here. Okay, if your leg's all the way down there, that's fine. If you just want to cross your ankle, that's a great place to be too. Okay, so we're gonna play with our balance. Okay, now I want you to shake your shoulders. Side to side in a little shimmy, try to keep your hands still. Ooh, playing, 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 stop. Now lift up and down with the shoulders, lift up and down. And notice what this does to your balance, stop. Okay, now shake your head, Ooh, stop. Remember that eyesight that's important for balance? Good, shake it up and let it go. Play around the room, little Muppets. Ready, other side, take a deep breath in. Turn that switch on for play. Right leg goes back. Inhale, exhale all the way down. Low lunge, 
Okay, finding a sense of play within your deep stretch, getting into your hips, deep breath in. Can you activate mind-body connection here? What is stretching? Can you squeeze your inner thighs together and feel what that actually feels like? Good, take it down, shake your heel back and forth. Inhaling deep, exhaling long. Good, press that back knee down. Okay, both arms can come inside if that feels better for you, or you can stay here, okay? Feeling this deep front hip stretch, inhale. Exhale, good, and you can tuck that. If you wanna go on a mat or a carpet to make it a little easier on that knee, you can also just lift up in your lower belly and take a little pressure off that knee or lift up that way, okay? So we have our hands on the floor. I'm gonna scoot back so you can see me. Okay, now both hands on the inside. You shake your head out. Shake your head out to dispel any tension, especially in that jaw. Now take, give me a big smile. <laughs> Can you even give me a little silly fake giggle or a laugh and see if it, <laughs> if it happens to continue into a left, deep breath in. Exhale, good, shake out the shoulders this time. No matter where they are, maybe it's up and you're shaking your shoulders. Just a little bit to find that vibration into the stretch that shakes it into a deeper space. Inhale, exhale, press both feet on the floor and lift up and start to roll those hips around. If you wanna shake them, you can do that too. Just find this suspension of judgment where you don't care what you look like or how this looks externally or if you're doing it right and listen to your body to see what's happening if something doesn't feel like it's hard enough try something different press up lift the belly button up maybe go deeper where can you shake that is really hard for you to shake take a deep breath in exhale roll those hips around as you find your way up to standing good playful take your arms up straight like a pencil inhale press everything together press 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 open Exhale, shake. Good. Inhaling. Exhaling. <laughs> oh my gosh, the side balance. Yeah, Jamie Lynn points out that my noises are hilarious and I forget about this, but they really are. And also, hi, Fiona. I love you. <laughs> Fiona Bibzak, what a human. Take it down, inhale, exhale out. How do you feel? Okay, we're gonna jump and bounce a little bit in this sense of playful activation, okay? I want you to notice mind-body connection to hips. Literally think about a mind-body string, a thread of this web of our body, so you notice and feel what it feels like. Can you give two words to the feelings in your hips? Mine feel open, but still tight. Yeah, it can be super simple. But it's also this feeling of kind of like opening up like a balloon, pressing on the edges of a box. Okay, so now we are going to shake a little bit and start to bounce. Take a deep breath in. Allow for this music. This is closey. See if you can find this bounce within this really epic music take your arms up and down up can you bounce a little more up and bounce okay i want you to get your whole body into it can you get shoulders imagine that you are in a huge crowd of people all dancing what is this your favorite wedding dance floor is this a festival your favorite concert a group of your friends in your living room Put yourself there and imagine yourself having all that fun. Deep breath in. Again. Take your arms up and let your elbows get playful. Where do they go? Maybe, maybe get a little weird, but keep this bouncing happening. Let's get that heart rate up with a sense of fun. Bounce it side, side, side. Get the hip in. Boop, boop, 
boom, boom, up, down, shake your hands, up, down, take it in, pencil, bring it down. Feel your body thrumming. Okay, now, <laughs> I have, <laughs> okay, the play is working, I feel great, I don't know how you feel, if you feel great, please tell me, I love hearing about all of this, warm and loose, bye Amy, thanks for tuning in, yes, and thanks for tuning in, remember, these classes are every Saturday, and the replays are all up on my YouTube and Patreon. So if you need a dose of dancing at any time through the week, please tune in. Just do a couple minutes. Getting your body moving is important. Okay? I also have burlesque and belly dance classes on my Patreon that you can tune into, and I would love for you to join in on those. So next activity. Oh, heart is full of play. I'm going to turn the music up, Sunny, then. It's always a fine balance of can you hear the music? Is that better? Please let me know that's better. Okay, so the next activity is you picking up a random object in your space. Okay, so I have this pretty rainbow veil. I made a bunch of pride veils. <laughs> Start from my web store if you want them. I'm going to make more. Um, but maybe you don't have a pretty rainbow veil. If you do, grab it. If you have a hula hoop or a pair of poi, grab it. Maybe. You have a book. Okay, so here's the sense of play. We are going to manipulate an object with a little bit more intention around us. We're dancing with an object now. Hold on, coffee. Mm, so find your object. What is it? I want you to investigate it. What is this object? Okay. It's a book. Don't start reading the book, right? I'm just looking at it. Ooh, this is a great one all about kinetic things and breathing. So this holds some really good knowledge, but this book is kind of floppy. It's nice and big. And it's flat. I can balance it. Ooh, and it makes great noises. So I want you to find whatever it is. Maybe it's your dog or your cat, or maybe it's your cell phone cord. And I want you to get curious. How can you move this object around yourself in a playful way? Okay, see, uh, what happens if you hide behind it? Extra funny if it's a cell phone cord. <laughs> can you hide behind it? And how do you move yourself out and around? Can you get so small that you pretend that you could hide behind it? feel like an elephant hiding behind a mouse. Good, now burst out. Whew. Take it back. Imagine that now it's like hiding little bits of you. What does it look like if this thing could actually obscure? Because it is. What does that mean? A pillow moving through, using your eyes to obscure it. Okay, moving on. Next game. Take it out and imagine it is the most glorious object you've ever seen in your life. How do you dance with that? How does your body move with this object? With all the things we've been doing, hips, knees, maybe you wanna get really low. How can you find gratitude for this thing that you have, this thing you have the privilege to have in your life? Can you look with your eyeballs and take it? Okay, now, how do you take this glorious object that you have and start to move it through space? How can you use your wrists and arms, usually our hand holding? How can you balance this object and move your body around? Switching hands, maybe? How else can you hold it? Can you get a little more creative with how it's going to flop around? Don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you make a failure or a mistake. Think about it as a happy accident. Okay, how else can you move this around your body? What does it feel like to move it behind you? If you are holding a couch, that might be hard. Can you move it to the back? Uh huh. get playful. Okay, last one. How can you balance this object 
on a different part of your body and still move. Right? How can you maybe slide it around? Chest, maybe balances on your elbows, contact book. Where can you get curious to where this object can be part of your dance? Dancing in between. Mm. Object dance. Okay, now, if you're there, tell me what you danced with. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, great. Music. I'm glad you can hear the music now. Sorry about that. Always tell me these things too. Okay, what did you dance with? This is a fun book to dance with. So, I love dancing with objects, right? Hoops, something. Okay, so now I want you to pick a different object. I'm going to grab this hula hoop. And I want you to find this second object and we're just going to flow okay so a flow state in my mind tends to be a really fun state okay because it lets you turn your brain off and turn on into what is happening now what is happening next okay so find this object right maybe it's even Oh, a tarot card, the Six of Cups, right? Maybe I'm dancing with it. I get to interpret my relationship with this object. How can you get a little more silly? Can you think of things that make you delight? Is it watching clowns or is it watching dancers? Is it watching big fabrics in the air? I hope maybe some of you are flowing with a bed sheet. <laughs> and so find your sense of play here dancing with a sponge a pup and his raccoon yes <laughs> okay so this is an exploration a deeper one into play okay you can pick the same sponge or the same object but I really want for you to see Hold up. All the different ways that you can activate with one thing. Can you get a little weird? <laughs> so weird, my earbud fell out. Okay, let me know if you can't hear me anymore. Okay, so find your unique relationship of play with this object. Is my hula hoop? Suddenly, a portal to another dimension? Whoa. How can you let your whole self believe these things as you move your body and find these senses of play? Using your imagination. Maybe once you activate yourself with this object somehow squeezing the last bits of soapy water on you, or entering through this portal, all that there is is bliss and happiness, even just for one song. Letting yourself forget momentarily about your worries to restructure your brain. Can you let those hips move or your feet? Can you change your angle with life? Getting curious, maybe, to what the rest of the world looks like from a different angle. There's no wrong way to do this. This is where we invoke creativity and this curiosity, seeing what's possible and the different ways that we are not looking at the world. Or maybe the way someone else sees it, maybe a toddler, and how that is also an important viewpoint to see. Maybe you want to put yourself into the viewpoint of a neighbor who doesn't think the same as you, 
or a human who looks totally different. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. <sighs> okay. Now, toss your object aside. An umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really fun. Um, thank you all for playing with me. Okay, so we have a few more minutes together. And now, next dance play song is going to be Follow the Leader. Okay, so you're going to follow me and do whatever I do, which is kind of what we do all class anyways, but just play with me here, right? Okay, so we're going to scoop out and up. Now get a little bigger, scoop. Scoop. And imagine that you're scooping up dirt or water and just throwing it on you. How does your body react? Good. Stop. Up. Hip roll. Out. Hips two, three. 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 Now, big. Make these giant, big motions. Can you get bigger, expanding out? Now, turn. Stop, get little. Squeeze everything into the center and get tiny. How can you get small? How can you get smaller? Squeezing in. Hold, hold, hold. Good, sit down, out. Switch, take your legs up, up, up. Look at them and smile. Ready? Simon says, laugh. <laughs> and shake. Take it up. Off your knees. Okay, turn. One big turn. Stop. Inhale. Big turn to the back. One big turn. Stop. We go kick. Right, hips, left, hips. Good, make it your own. Hips, again, kick. Put it all together, turn around, turn around, stop. Turn to the back, turn around, stop. Face me, right kick, boom. Hips, left, hips, again, up. Hips, up, hips, take it big. And again. Okay, now switch. You do it. Your turn. Go. Dance it. Can't see you. Oh, that's great. Good work. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're doing great. Take your thumbs up. Point them one way, and then switch. Take your thumbs up. Point them the other direction where you're going, and then confuse it. Good. Take it down. Down. Boom. Down. Boom. Again. Down. Boom. Down. Boom. We go. Pas de bore. Pas de bore. Backside front. Backside stop. Turn. Stop, inhale, other foot, pas de bore, pas de bore, three, four, stop, turn, lift, pause, inhale, we go, turn it front, stop, turn it back, good, kick with the right, hips, kick with the left, hips, kick with the right, Kick with the left, hips. Good, we go down, boom, down, boom, big. And again, turn, and now turn until you get so dizzy you cannot. Keep turning, maybe look up at the ceiling and see what happens. Flop over on your couch or your kitchen table when you get too busy. I know, or too, too, too dizzy. <laughs> turn, turn. Find your orientation in space. Turning, 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 and stop. Woo. Ground yourself. Press down, lift up. Feel the swirl 
of the world around you. Take a deep breath in. Get big out. Find yourself coming back, knowing that you can always turn to disorientate and disrupt your patterns and look at the world in a new way, releasing endorphins and finding this delicious inebriation that comes from the play of body and space. Inhale. Exhale, shake. Okay, now we shake. <laughs> okay, this week I encourage you. Hold up. This week I encourage you to play a little bit more. We, as a collective humankind, are going through so much. And if we stop playing, we become stagnant. Our communities become super like concrete. If we don't play and dance and laugh together, we forget what we're fighting for, what we're doing, and what we love in life. So allow yourself to play. It's okay to play. Don't get distracted and totally forget and go into a play make believe land forever because we have to be rooted here in reality also, yet we can't stop playing. So I encourage you, your homework this week is to incite play at unexpected moments. Maybe it's throwing a little bit of food at your partner at dinner and seeing what happens and laughing or inciting a laughing stock or not a laughing stock, but a laughing fest in the grocery store behind your masks and just laughing just for the sake of laughing and allowing yourself to feel that beautiful lightness of spirit. Maybe it's dancing outside in a public space to loud music and inviting others to do so. Play is important. Okay, so, ha, deal. <laughs> Ooh, a sponge of fair performance piece. I want to see these. Please send them to me. <laughs> okay, okay. So, let's take a nice deep cool down. Inhale. Exhale. Shake. Inhale. Side. 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 Roll. 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 Inhale, lift. Exhale, remember, play. Take a deep breath in, turn, stretch. How can you play a little more with your breath, with your weight, so you're not static? Play, smile, keep that air of curiosity and connect down to your body. Good. Take it down, squat. Let's find this yogic squat, this Eastern Asiatic squat, as my friend says, right? Drop it down. Good. Take a deep breath in, scoop it up. Turn down. Hold. Hold, maybe press with that weight. If you want to move your hips around here, notice where you might be able to open up a little bit more. Take a deep breath in, lengthen out through that spine, playing. Breath and body, what happens when you breathe deep into the bottom of your lungs? Get curious. Take it all the way down. Now back into the center squat. This is an amazing place to be, this squat, this malasana. Compresses the hips, opens up in the ankles. I want you to rock forward and back. Yeah. This is a great way to start sitting, to read. It also helps activate the pelvic floor. Now lift up, take your arms out. Okay, can you lift up onto your toes? Extra credit, maybe touch the floor if you need to. Hold. Okay, we're going all the way up. Inhale. Good. Okay. Last little bit. We're going to move the hips right. Hold. Left. 
hold, right hold, left. Remember that sense of play. We go shoulder, shoulder, play with it. Upper back moves, shoulder, shoulder. One, two, three, four. Can you imagine that you are maybe a snake or a worm or a bird with wings? Your imagination is this incredible tool that we can uh, tap into in order to enact change. Turn, other way. If you can imagine it, you can work towards creating it. Take it up, inhale. Exhale. Okay, let's do one more big forward fold. Inhale. Exhale, Ugh, let it go. And just drip that spine down. If you want more of a back stretch, bend your knees. Bob your head back and forth. And pull your belly button farther up into your spine to get more into that lower back. See if you can sit the sit bones down to get more into the back. Stretch up. Find this long, long stretch. Lifting up maybe into a flat back. And then extending out and forward to go down. Good, deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Smile on your face, inhale, play into the air again, just as we finish. Maybe letting your hips move subtly, letting those arms slide through space. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Mm. And that's that. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, play is important. If we can play with people that we love, if we can find a way to bring ourselves into understanding other humans as human and play with them in a place where we know that we can be on equal ground and equal terms, we can start to sow the seeds of love, equality, and justice within our hearts. It's our choice every moment, what we do with every moment, and you can support the systems that keep us down, or you can understand the systems that keep us down and make each choice count in moving and acting outside of that, okay? It's all up to us as individuals because our communities, our government, all of it's made of individual people working together to serve individual people. So I'm open for conversations. If you want, um, please keep at it. Remember, and being anti-racist, being anti-hateful is a lifelong journey. And so I need for you to know the tools to get yourself from panic or despair or grief into through your body moving it out. Um, I recently posted a great article sent to me by my lover about Nietzsche's, um, Nietzsche's viewpoint on uh, what matters in the world and how dancing is a crucial part of all that and the cultures who are really happy out there. So please keep dancing, incite that joy, create spontaneous play moments this week, and I'll see you next week. Sign up for my Patreon to help me um, fund my life as an artist and all new signups, all veil sales and anything that comes in this month is going to be... Um, I'm going to donate 15% of all that to an organization here in Chicago that's working to um, amplify and strengthen uh, black communities around here. So thanks for listening. Thanks for dancing. Keep it moving. I love you all, and I'll see you on Tuesday for class. Ooh, also, 
so many things. There is a veil masterclass, a silk weighted veil masterclass on Wednesday night, and there are still spots open for that. That is online. Okay, so much love to you.